Hi, welcome to a product test and review by Robojax. In this video, we are going to test and see how this reversible 10 ampere up to 30 volts motor controller module. We're going to see how this can control the direction, control the speed of this motor. Later on, I'm going to connect it to my electronic load and test this with the maximum current that this can handle. We will see how much current this can handle. Let's get started with this. Uh, this module is sold on eBay for around $389 US. I will provide you the link. There are multiple sellers selling this on eBay. The module has two push buttons one is for clockwise and the other one is for counterclockwise depending on the polarity or how you connect your DC motor doesn't matter so you will find out which one is which and uh, um, we have a potentiometer a variable resistor here that control the pulse width modulation or the speed of the motor this is a hundred kilo ohm a variable resistor and these uh, push buttons have their own nut that you can attach it to a panel, both of these, and also the mm, potentiometer also comes with a nut, so you can attach it to a panel. And these connectors can be detached very easily. And these two switches have separate connectors. So in terms of color, if you want to switch, let's say, the red on this side was going counterclockwise and you didn't like it, just move it there. So this will be now clockwise if you want it and then the, the other will be counterclockwise. This is for variable resistor. In case if you want to extend it, including this one, you can just uh, solder newer wire and extend this. It will not have any effect because this is just variable resistor and these are just uh, signal switch so they can be extended meters doesn't matter and these uh, inputs this is labeled as n negative and positive you must follow this properly and these two are for motor they put here the positive but as i mentioned this doesn't matter as long as your if mo your motor is dc you can switch it accordingly whichever direction makes sense for you this is this 7805 uh, that's very important you can connect uh, whatever voltage that your motor needs let's say if your motor is 24 volts you can connect 24 volts if it's 12 volts 12 volts this is 7805 this is a 5 volts regulator but the input voltage that it can accept is up to 35 volts and this capacitor is also a determinant factor unfortunately that is very good that's a uh, 50 volts so this is able to handle so you can connect 30 volts uh, motor or 24 volts 12 volts whatever you have up to 35 volts you can connect here when the voltage comes here it regulates it's being regulated to 5 volts to supply voltage to this uh, triple five timer this is a famous timer chip uh, it has been used here as a uh, pulse width modulation and from here we have these two tiny transistors that are driving these two relay with these diodes for protection of the transistor and then uh, when you press the switch the pull uh, these two relays job of these are to change the polarity for the motor at the output so the motor can rotate uh, clockwise or counterclockwise so this is mechanical and slow but for motor application it works perfect you don't have to have semiconductor because there is no matter of speed in terms of changing from clockwise to counterclockwise uh, and then we have these two semiconductors here and this heatsink was on top of this like that and it has been screwed from the bottom but they did not put any heat transfer compound uh, so you have to put it this one is a shot key diode that has been used the stp and this is actually printed on it is just s1045 and this the job of this diode is just protect uh, from spike of the inductive load then we have this 2843 uh, MOSFET this is from international rectifier and that's a chip that is used 
and it has very uh, the maximum voltage that drain source of this can handle is 30 volts so your motor cannot be above 30 volts so this is another constraint or determining factor for the for your motor this has huge amount of current at 10 volts it can handle up to 161 um, but at 25 degrees the limiting factor for your motor is this so you can connect up to 10 ampere motor be careful 30 volts 10 ampere as you can see or 28 volts 10 ampere 10 ampere this can handle it very well let's now apply some heat transfer compound here Length of the module is 56.5 mm, the width is 37.1 mm, the height of the module is that regulator which is 22.7 mm. And if you're interested in weight, it weighs 53.2 grams. Now let me demonstrate it. First I'm going to connect this motor. The two wires have been connected to this motor and these two wires will be connected to power supply. On that side will be connected to the ground and this will be to the positive. It's powered up, hold it. So let's uh, press this button. Let me slow it down. So I'm just pressing it slowly as you can see very responsive it's going in one direction so let me put it and yes. very precise maximum I will leave it I will hold this and then turn it on now let's do the counterclockwise so I will hold it and then let's try both clockwise counterclockwise but if I if I press boot nothing will happen because it will be disconnected that's very safe if both relay turned on the power will be disconnected so no harm if you press both because the amount of current that this draws is very limited uh, it and now I'm going to connect it to electronic load. We are going to pass 10 ampere due to the limitation of this uh, relay. I have connected my electronic load, this output, these two wires, instead of connecting it to a motor, because I do not have a motor that can draw 10 ampere, I'm connecting it to this electronic load. This is a physical electronic load and the software that is on the screen uh, simulates that and here this will show the voltage and this will show the current that is drawn now I have set the current here at 5 ampere uh, the system is on because there is I have not pressed this switch the output is 0 so now at, uh, let me press it now I have set this at 23 volts as you can see 23 point let me make it 24 So the voltage is 23 volts and I have to make sure that this is not getting hot. Absolutely normal. 
The maximum current that the relay can handle is 10 amperes, so I will not go above 10. But 5, the heat sink is very normal. And let me go 10 now. N now I've set this to 10 amperes. Let me turn it on. The output voltage is 24 volts, so this is as if we are running at 24 volts with 10 amperes. And this is the pulse modulation that is at the maximum. Absolutely normal. I'm running it to the maximum to see how it can handle it. And as you can see the total power that this can handle is now 243 watt. Turn off. Response. Let me make it 12 volts. Now the output voltage is... The voltage here in input is 12 volts. And current is 10 ampere. It's barely getting warm. So for conclusion, this device can handle 10 ampere very well and uh, uh, this could handle even more current, but because of this uh, relay, this cannot handle more than 10 ampere. For 10 ampere with the test that I did, it's perfectly able to handle a 10 ampere motor and the speed is also and the wiring and connection everything is solid uh, but th this is not supposed to be used li like this or hanging for continuous time j for just few tests you could do it but otherwise it has to be connected and installed in a panel and you can control motor very easily that's it thank you for watching please thumb up the video and also if you have question or comment please post it in the description below i'll try to reply and answer and if you have not subscribed Subscribe so you can get updates of my upcoming videos.